So it's been a long three days celebrating my birthday because, well, we, 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 whoop, whoop. <laughs> we sing happy birthday a lot. And um, it's the end of the last day. We're just done in downtown Calistoga where we watched the tractor parade for Christmas. And we have three wines that we opened tonight with Bolognese. And we made the classic Marcella Hazan Bolognese, the recipes in the New York Times, but it's fabulous, lots of carrots, lots of, uh, lots of wine. I, I used seven cups of wine in the, uh, in the recipe today. But I wanted to talk through these three wines because they were all so different and absolutely fabulous. And I have no attachment to them other than being a fan of the wines and the winemakers. And the first wine is the Corazon Kronos Vineyard from 2001. And if you know anything about Kathy Corazon, she's one of the great ladies of Napa Valley. She's been making wine for years and she was one of the winemakers at Spotswood. And this 2001, I'm absolutely caught off guard by how much acidity it still has. We're talking about a wine that's On its own, it's legal to drink because it's over 21 years of age, but the acid carries the fruit. You get this tart cherry that then gives way to all of the beautiful tertiary flavors. You get the tobacco, you get the cedar, and then the really gentle tannins that comes from a perfectly aged wine. You see all the sediment that's around the bottle. You can see how much sediment is there. It's, it's a wine that's been aged perfectly and was absolutely fabulous with the, uh, with the Bolognese and Fettuccine. The, the sauce was rich and this had the acid to cut right through it. Fabulous wine, aged perfectly. Kathy Corzin's dedication to in balance, moderate alcohol, absolutely shines through and through in this wine.